In this video, I'm going to expand on one of the results that were reported in the lecture but we didn't go through in great detail. That's the result that we can decompose the mean square error of an estimator into its variance plus the square of its bias. To show this, let's start with the definition of the mean square error. The mean square error is the expected difference between the estimator beta hat and the true value beta squared. Now, we can rewrite that, as on this line here, by subtracting and adding the expected value of beta hat in the, within the brackets to write this as the expected value of beta hat minus its expected value minus beta minus its, the expected value of beta hat all squared. Now, let's expand that um, expression and we can write this as the expected value of beta hat minus its expected value squared plus the expected value of beta minus the expected value of beta at squared minus 2 times the cross product terms here which is the uh, expected value of beta at minus its expected value multiplied by beta minus its expected value. The advantage of doing this is that the first two terms are in, um, first of all the variance the expected value of beta hat minus the expected value of beta hat squared and secondly the squared bias the expected value of beta minus the expected value of beta hat squared then we've got this term here now it's the properties of this term here that are of interest because what we what we want to do is show that this is always equal to zero because if we can do that we get back to the much simpler expression that the mean square error is the sum of the variance plus the bias squared. So let's take that expression. We, we can uh, multiply out the brackets and we can write it as on this line here. The expected value beta hat times beta minus beta hat times the expected value beta hat minus the expected value of beta hat multiplied by beta plus the expected value of beta hat squared. Now let's take expectations through that expression we get the expected value of beta hat multiplied by beta remember beta is not a random variable minus the expected value of beta hat squared minus beta times the expected value of beta hat plus the expected value of beta hat squared now we can see that these will effectively cancel each other out because we've got the expected value of beta hat times beta and minus beta times the expected value of beta hat so those two terms will cancel and then we've got minus the expected value of beta hat squared plus the expected value of beta hat squared and again those cancel meaning that that expression reduces to zero. As a result we can decompose the mean square error in a very convenient way. We can write it as the variance plus the squared bias in the estimator.